guys, it's James with Auto Odometer back again with another full detail. I'm going to be detailing this 2001 Dodge Ram Sport. Now the owner of this vehicle is going to sell it and he just wanted to spruce it up before selling it, making sure it was as clean as possible. You may have noticed on the channel here, I did a little bit of rebranding. Here in the past couple months, I have started an LLC, my own automotive detailing company and this is one of the first vehicles I'll be detailing that is not my own so if you guys are interested in subscribing and following me on my detailing journey that would be awesome and if you guys wait till the end of the video you'll see a bunch of before and after shots which are definitely worth the wait so if this is something you guys are interested in seeing more detailing videos go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that like button and let's get started The first thing I like to do on my exterior details is rinse off the vehicle starting from the top to the bottom, doing the wheel wells as well as doing the wheels. Once I have everything rinsed down, I'll go ahead and start on the wheels. And for this truck at least, the wheel wells were pretty dirty so I had to spend quite a bit of time and I just got one of those mitts from AutoZone and was able to scrub and get off the majority of the dirt. Now this truck sat for about three months and the dirt really dried on the wheels so it took two or three passes to really get most of the dirt off. Once the wheels started drying, the dirt started showing up again. I had to go back over the wheels three times to be able to get them perfectly clean. After finishing with the wheels, I applied some bug spray remover to the front grille just to be able to loosen up any bug guts that were sitting on the front grille before I started with my hand wash. Now when I do the hand wash, I usually try to start from the middle top part of the vehicle and then work my way downwards making sure I have a clean mitt. At the same time, I'll pull out a small detailing brush and try to get into some of those smaller hard to reach areas. After making sure all the surface dirt was off of the car, 
and using a small detailing brush, getting all those nooks and crannies, I went around and sprayed Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Wax all around the vehicle. Now I like these waxes where you can incorporate the drying method at the same time as the protection method. So after spraying all of the wax, I rinsed the wax residue off of the vehicle and then continued to dry it. Now I applied this hybrid ceramic wax on my Toyota Sequoia and it worked really well. And so far it's been about four or five months and I'm still seeing protection water beading on the paint. Now the first step on the interior is to remove all of the items off of the floor, the seats, and the doors, just so I can get to the carpets and the seats themselves to be able to clean them. Once I finish removing all the items, I go ahead and vacuum up all of the loose debris on the carpets and the seats. Once I finish the majority of the vacuuming, and I'll be vacuuming again just as I work my way around the vehicle, more things will fall onto the carpets and as I step in and out of the vehicle, it'll just need to be cleaned again. But the bulk majority of the debris off of the seats and the carpets are clean. I'm just going to work my way around the vehicle, cleaning the inside of the vehicle and leaving the doors and windows for last. The product that I'm using is Mother's VLR Vinyl Leather and Rubber Cleaner and Protectant. It's an all-in-one product where I can clean and protect the, the vinyl, rubber, and leather components of the vehicle just to make my work a little bit easier and faster.
and that wraps up this detail if you guys want to see more videos like this hit that subscribe button and if you're still watching hit that like button let's see if we can hit about 2,000 likes on this video if you guys want to see more videos like this go ahead and check out some of the other videos on the channel and with that thanks for watching